In this video, we will look at how you can utilize the polling feature during a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, at the recording of this video, it is September 2020, and there's been an update in how you access the polling feature within the Teams meeting. So let's get started. Here I am in a Teams meeting, and as you can see, we click up here to get to our conversation or chat area. And as you know, we can click down in our chat field down below, and we can begin sending messages to each other during the meeting. Now, to access the poll, what we used to do was click on the More menu here, the ellipses, and we could access the polling tool here. However, it's no longer available, so here's what we have to do to get that going. We're going to have to bring up the Teams app, and we're going to then need to navigate to the main chat tool within Microsoft Teams. So I'll click on chat. And what I will see here uh, in your chat history, you're going to find that not only are you getting the chat history of your one-on-one -on -one and group chats, but you're also going to see any chat conversations that came from meetings. For example, you'll see an icon here next to the chat session that looks like a calendar icon. That means that this chat was based on a conversation during a meeting. And so you'll be able to find this uh, for the meeting that you're currently running. Now, if you don't see the chat history here, it may be that your meeting is taking place within a Teams channel. So what you want to do is go to Teams, navigate to that team, and then click into the channel where that meeting is taking place. In this case, um, I have this in a class team, and my channel is called Class Meetings. So I'm navigating into this. You can see that my meeting is running, and down below we're going to see four replies from you and students. This is our conversation, right? So the same thing that's happening here is also happening in our meeting. Let's bring that back up. So we see this same exact chat conversation. Hello, good morning, how are you today? And when I go back to Teams in the channel, it's the same exact conversation. So here, back in the Teams channel, I can contribute to the conversation right here. Now, this is important. I'm not going to click New Conversation. If I do that, it starts a new chat outside of our meeting chat. What I need to do is click reply right here inside of this chat session. So I'll click reply. And here I'm going to see all of my bells and whistles that I've already set up in Teams. But I can also go to my more menu here, the ellipses, and I can search for the poll app. Polly is another one. I'm going to go ahead and click on poll. This allows me to then create my question and my choices and click next and then click send. And so what you'll see here is it's going to pop up right here in the channel conversation. And if we go back to our meeting now, we should also see it in the meeting chat. And there it is. There is the poll that I just published. And now my audience can access this, submit their vote, and I can also go in and click View Results to see what those look like. So I'll go ahead and click on View Result. Ah, return to the main window to perform this action. So to see the results, what I need to do now is go back to the team channel and view results. And there we have it. So as you can see, we need to manage the poll within the Teams channel, but our audience can respond within the team meeting. And that is how you use the polling feature within Microsoft Teams meetings.